mm. you gonna have your moment once you smell that combination you're gonna have that moment trust me hi everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Muffet and I am here today to share with you a little small haul of mine that I've um, had in my in between big haul shopping if that makes sense like this video because you can really you know what I mean <laughs> and I know I'm trying to watch my coin so I didn't do a big crazy haul but there's a little something something here um, that I wanted to share with you guys as we transition into the fall slowly but surely thank God I'm so over the summer oh, I'm so over the summer but yeah I hope you're having a good day today and if not I hope this video changes your day I hope it has an impact and um makes you smile all right so if you're interested in what I have to say if you're interested in the perfumes that I have to share with you today please stay tuned also don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel okay guys so before we begin I actually want to share with you a fragrance combination that I've been loving lately I've literally used it back to back now I haven't left the house since let me see <laughs> two days two days yeah I haven't left the house in two days I don't like the heat so if I can stay in AC for the most part, that's what I'm going to do. So I have been loving this combination of Kamari Milk and Creamy Center by Sugar Mama Fragrances. You guys, I have been walking around the house smelling like cookies and cream. Okay, so this has your vanilla, your, your delicious, sweet, creamy marshmallow, your tonka bean, a little bit of musk. And this literally smells like the inside of the, the creamy inside of the Oreo cookie. These two together is amazing. And of course, y'all know I love the formula inside of the Sugar Mama fragrances and the, the, the strength, the strength of this body butter. The scents that just waft off of my skin throughout the day, just with the body butter alone, y'all. <sighs> words cannot describe how delicious and, and smooth and beautiful I feel. I literally smell and feel like I'm a walking cookies and cream. Anything. I'm a cookies and cream cookie. I'm a cookies and cream milkshake. I'm a cookies and cream gelato. I'm a cookies and cream ice cream, y'all. If you're able to guys please check this out if you already have the commodity milk and want to try out the body butter or vice versa let me know what you think and if you try these this combination it's amazing this is my new favorite combo i think all well, you know every week i just play around with so many different combinations and other than the watermelon one that i showed you in the last video this i think yeah i think this top does it top that it's one of my top. So this is actually one of my top combinations that I'm absolutely loving right now. I wouldn't be surprised if I go ahead and use the same combination tomorrow. Yeah, it's so delicious and decadent. Try it out, guys. So the first perfume that I wanna to bring to you guys is Plume Impressions Pop Heart. Now, I received um, a sample of this originally a couple months ago in a, a fragrance sw swap with my girl Dana. How you doing girl? I hope you're doing okay. And I fell in love with this like upon first spray. I was like, I have to have this. And when I when I when I saw how long it lasted on my skin and how well it projected, I was like, oh yeah, this is a must. So this is a fruity, um, it's a fruity caramel and vanilla fragrance. There's different berries in here. Let me just uh, read you guys the notes. We have pineapple, strawberry, apple, raspberry, magnolia, rose, caramel, vanilla, and musk in the base, y'all. The caramel in here, it, it, it doesn't make this or gourmand. It's like just enough to, to hit with that. It adds decadent sweetness to the raspberry and the strawberry that's already in here. The pineapple just gives you that burst of joy in the beginning. Hmm. I feel like the magnolia and the rose, they they stay in their place. You really smell the crispness from the apple, the juiciness from the pineapple, the strawberries, the raspberries, and y'all know I love raspberry. So yeah, th guys, this, this 
fragrance is amazing. If you guys have not tried this, please get your nose on this. You can get samples uh, from the actual website. And I like, um, they also sent me a sample of um, other perfumes that they make. And I actually like the way they do the outdoorsy type of fragrances. Um, I, I guess you would call them green fragrances. And it's crazy because I don't really like green fragrance, fragrances like that. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to... Um, probably purchase more from Plume Impressions and they're phthalate, phthalate free. And I think what I'm gonna start doing is marking in the description box what perfumes are phthalate free, what perfumes aren't. You know, some people may not care, but some people may care in the future. You never know. So um, if I have that information, I would definitely like to share it with you guys just in case if you are concerned in, in the future, because I definitely am. So yeah, they're phthalate free. Um, all the perfumes that I'm showing you today are phthalate free, I think, except for one. And you guys will see that in the description, but yeah, Pop Heart is a beautiful fruity caramel fragrance. It has a similar concept to that of, um, Mula Mula. Mula Mula by Byron Perfumes. We're, we're, just, we're just not going to compare. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Okay guys, up next is a perfume that I have wanted literally since the beginning of uh, the year. I was in a duty free in the airport one day and I was somewhere overseas and I was just, you know, I smelled this perfume and I was just like, eh, you know, I can get it in the States. It's a common brand. Man, when I got to the States, I played myself because it sure enough was hard to find. So that actually happened to me a couple times. And ever since then, I was like, you know what? Next time you're overseas and you're in the airport and if you find something that you want and that you like, just get it. Even if you think it may be easy to find in the States, just get it where you are. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. Yep. So that perfume is Guerlain's La Petite, La Petite, <laughs> is La Petite Robe Noir Intense. Ooh, this is a cotton candy, blueberry, um, vanilla musky type of fragrance. And I just fell in love when I sprayed it. And so, so what happened is that when I got to back to the States, of course, I couldn't find it. Everywhere was sold out. And literally a couple weeks ago, I saw this online. They only had, I think it was, by the time I put, I ordered two of these bad boys and I got it for a good deal. It was only like 60 something dollars. I just got both of them. So by the time these two were in my basket, there was gonna be only three left after I purchased these two. It was at Walmart. Oh yeah, I don't know if a Walmart still um, had them, but I snatched this up quick because the only other full-size bottle that I saw online was at fragranceby.ca and um, they were out of stock. They had those one of those things where it was just like, you know, put your email address in there and we'll notify you when we, when we have it back in stock. So I was so happy to finally get this in my hands. And uh, the price was amazing. I, I, I'm just, I'm so happy that I got this. Yeah, this is a, a long awaited fragrance for me. So yeah, it's a beautiful um, cotton candy blueberry fragrance. There's some green notes in here, but the juiciness from all the fruits, and I think there's also raspberry. Let me just read you the notes. Okay, so we have cotton candy, blueberry, raspberry, cassis, bergamot, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, orange blossom. In the base notes, we have vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. I just feel like the all the juicy fruits that are in this fragrance, they make the patchouli and the cassis smell delicious. You still smell the green in here, but it's like a refreshing type of green. It's that type of green that they have in your sugary drink. And you just like kind of nibble on the, uh, the, the green uh, leaf a little bit and you taste the juices um, from the drink you're drinking throughout the, the green leaf. That makes sense? It's infused. It's oh, it's beautiful. So that's what um, happens to the cassis and also the patchouli in this fragrance. This, So overall, I would say this is a beautiful cotton candy, blueberry, vanilla musk fragrance. That's what, um, those are the major notes that stand out to me. And if you can get your nose on it, guys, check it out. Um, hopefully there's still three left uh, at Walmart's website. I don't know, but um, yeah, yeah, definitely try, try and get your hands on this one. So up next is Fresh Cream, and this is by Philosophy, okay? All right, so you guys can see it. Okay, so I've smelled this multiple times inside the Ulta, and they always had like the, the smaller bottles. So one day I was just, you know, scroll, scrolling around, and I saw on the Philosophy website, they actually had the four ounce available, and it was on sale. So I was like, 
let me go cop that right there because I knew that I was going to be using this a lot once the fall and the winter come. So this is a vanilla cashmere sandalwood coconut and musk. To me, the note that stands out the most is the coconut in this. It, it, it With the coconut and the sandalwood together, it almost makes it seem as though there's a toffee note in here, but there isn't. This legit does smell like a, a, a creamy coconutty toffee. Yeah, this smells like fresh cream. Gosh, it's, yeah, this is like a perfect fragrance for when you just wanna, you know, stay in by the fireplace or go on a vacation to the cabin or, or just do something low key and just smell like this decadent, dessert you know it, it's it's a very comforting fragrance you guys i cannot wait to wear this in the fall i, I can't wait i am just ready for the fall to be here Ooh. up next is a fragrance that is um a little different for me now i don't know if that's because my nose is getting more trained you know because i've only been into fragrances um i would say for about a year and a half now um, but I, I've noticed that during my different sampling that I've really been liking cardamom fragrances and I don't really have any fragrances that have, um, cardamom in it. At least I don't think so. Usually they're, um, um, more, you know, your girly fragrances, fruity, floral, gourmand. Um, but this in particular... I sampled it and I knew that I wanted to get this one day. And I think the first time I sampled this was probably around the spring of this year. I think, they, I think it's in one of my previous um, sampling videos, but this is a magenta tanzanite. Y'all, like the, the way the cardamom is done in here, it, it makes me feel like I'm somewhere authentic. You know, like I'm on vacation somewhere and I'm, in, I'm smelling some type of, um, incense that is is not commonly smelled I, I feel like i'm somewhere exclusive with this fragrance so the top notes we have cardamom we have ginger and bergamot middle notes we have cinnamon coffee and myrrh funny story about myrrh I was at the Museum of the Bible a couple months ago, and that's actually the first time where I was able to smell what frankincense smells like and what myrrh smells like. I sprayed, I, no, I didn't spray it, it was, um, well, yeah, it was a spray. I sprayed the frankincense and I said, what? What is this? It was not my, not my zhuzh, okay? And uh, the myrrh, oh, the myrrh was my zhuzh. That was for me. Myrrh is just very smooth. It's not oody, it's not leathery, it's just myrrh. I, 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 it's hard for me to really describe it. So also in the base notes, we have tobacco, we have vanilla, and we have tonka bean. So in the beginning, I get the cardamom and I get the ginger. Then like I would say about a minute in, I start to get the bergamot. Now that cinnamon is there to balance off, I think, the, the strength that's in the, the cardamom and in the ginger. That same type of, I think, balance is in the Delina. Selena perfume and I think I'm noticing more of the different spices that are in my fragrances and I'm loving the fact that I'm able to pick up those notes and just appreciate them for what they do for the fragrances and um in the base now I smell tobacco and I smell vanilla I don't know much I don't smell the tonka bean like that the base is mainly vanilla and um, tobacco, but the tonka bean is just very slight. It's very minimal in this, but overall, this is a, I like this fragrance. It's coming around. This is gonna be per, I'm coming around. This is gonna be perfect for the fall and the winter. And I waited until closer towards the end of the year to get this fragrance because I knew the season that I wanted to wear this for. So you guys, if you are interested, please try to get your nose on this just to sample it and see what I'm talking about. This, um, I don't think it leans too masculine or, or feminine. This definitely is a unisex fragrance, but a woman can wear this and can her, her scent bubble can still be appreciated as feminine. You know, it, it doesn't take away from a woman's femininity. That's what I love about this fragrance. And it's just so different. Yeah, check out uh, Magenta Tazanite, y'all. I love it. Okay, you guys, so up next is a perfume that I couldn't even wait to film this video. That perfume is gone, okay? <laughs> I returned it back uh, to Sephora yesterday, and that is none other than Burberry's Goddess, y'all. Oh, the disappointment. So I was just so excited to, to hear about another vanilla coming out. 
I don't think you can ever have too many vanillas, says a perfume addict. It's okay. But um, yeah, this was, um, I, I, people have already smelled it online and I was just listening to um, what they were saying about it. It was a lavender vanilla. They compared it to um, Libre. I can see that. I can see how the, I mean, cause, because lavender is in there and lavender is also in the original um, Libre by YSL. But this perfume in particular, it's like the lavender in it, I feel like it barely has a chance to truly settle in because there's just so much um, powderiness coming in upon initial spray with the, with the lavender together. The 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 type of powderiness um, or musk that's in the fragrance it's 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 dusty. It's not a fresh powdery. It doesn't even have to be fresh, but it's, the powder in it is not. It's not a feminine powder. It's just a powder. It's just a general powder. It's weird. And the vanilla is there. Uh, I would say it's for me, it's it's there in the background, but it it's it's um it's not your average vanilla. It's not sweet. It's not it doesn't smell like vanilla bean. There's vanilla caviar in there. It's just it's just uh, you you spray it and it's just like okay. 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 So let me just read you the notes. It opens up with vanilla, lavender, cacao, and ginger. I didn't smell cacao in there and I didn't smell ginger in there. I gave myself a full two days to test out that fragrance and I was just like, no. Because, I mean, including tax, that perfume was like 170 something dollars. Absolutely not. So the middle notes was vanilla caviar and the base notes vanilla absolute so you have i mean i don't know what vanilla um caviar is supposed to smell like so it says here that vanilla caviar is in the group of sweets and gourmand smells other names are vanilla bean seeds vanilla bean um caviar okay there, there was no vanilla bean in this fragrance at all i didn't smell any vanilla bean you know what smells like vanilla bean this is perfume vanilla by soli notes this actually smells like vanilla bean. And not everything has to be decadent, not everything has to be gourmand, but legit, this there's no vanilla bean, it's, it, it's vanilla. It's not even vanilla extract. It's just, for there to be vanilla in so many parts of this fragrance, I just don't understand why that perfume smells the way it does with vanilla. You would think that it would mainly be a vanilla scent, but it's it's really not. It's just a very dusty lavender, and it it, it doesn't smell like um, YSL Libre. So I wouldn't say if you have YSL Libre, um, you don't need a goddess. Nope, that does not take the place of the other. But to each their own. And I can see that fragrance um, changing if you let it sit for a while. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if people that have decided to keep it for a while were just like, wait a minute, yeah, first I smelled this, but now I smell X, Y, and Z. I mean, it happens with just about every perfume um, you have. It also said on the back of the box somewhere that um, keep in mind that this fragrance will get darker due to the vanilla that's in the fragrance, which makes sense. So I would assume that that would also, um, the scent would also get more potent, but I'm not sure which part of it. Is it the vanilla part? Is it the, the lavender part? I don't know which part will, but you know what? There was there was no single note about this fragrance where I was just like, ooh, but that's good though. You know, there, there was nothing. So, you know, I had to return it. Um, yeah, if you guys feel the same way I do, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I, it'll be interesting to see what you guys think about it. Compared to the other musks that, that, that are out there, the other lavender fragrances that are out there, the other vanilla fragrances that are out there, uh, that doesn't hold a candle to any of them any of them but yeah that's that's just my take on it so it was part of the haul but i didn't want to wait <laughs> i was going to the mall anyway so i returned it okay you guys last but not least is a fragrance that i actually um ha i obtained a sample of i saw the notes and um the way it was advertised and i i was just like oh my gosh i have to get my nose on that and i was actually considering blind buying this because i was just so sure of myself i was just i was just so sure that you know I know my nose, I'm gonna like that. And I'm just so grateful that I decided to wait. You know, patience is a virtue, y'all. It is a virtue. So this um, fragrance is, uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be hard to pronounce, okay? 
Uh, I'm going to put it on the screen. <laughs> it is A Crepuscule de Morphe. And this is by La Horloge de Flore. So it comes in a beautiful clear bottle with a black top and white label and like um, a lavender uh, flower in the middle. So this is what my sample looks like. It is not, um, of course, it's not the full bottle, but there's a decent size in there with the spray bottle. And um, the notes in here are that the top notes are violet, violet candy. I think that's what got me was the fact that it was violet candy. I love the smell of violet, but the fact that they, they, they had violet candy in there. I was like, wait a minute, the sweetness in here is gonna be on another level. I have to have this. The middle note is iris root. I love iris in perfumes. Also the base note is sandalwood. I love, I love sandalwood. Like how can you go wrong? Y'all, one sniff of this thing. It reminds me of when I used to wait in the car, like in the summertime, if my mom would go run an errand or, or I was looking through my mom's purse for something, maybe some, I don't know, a piece of gum. And I find like this Revlon lipstick that, that melted um, and just broke in, inside the, inside the container. This smells like melted lipstick. I cringed right here, like I cringed. I was like, are you kidding me? This is not for me. This absolutely isn't. <sighs> there's something else. There's there 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 are obviously more notes in here, but if I if I smell this again to give you more of a description, I'm gonna get a headache. So this is a no, and I'm just so grateful that I did not get a full bottle of this because. Yeah, this is definitely headache inducing for me. And that doesn't happen to me that often. It doesn't. I'm not that sensitive when it comes to um, fragrances for the most part. There's only two ones that get me sick. And uh, it's three. There's only three perfumes that get me sick. And yeah, this is the third one that I've discovered. Makes me sick. Yeah. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to see my uh, mini haul. I wanted to show you guys some fragrances that I've been purchasing recently and uh, let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you've sampled them, if you have them. Yeah, feel free to um, open up discussion below. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, you guys take care of yourselves and enjoy life. Love on yourselves, okay? All right. Have a good day. Bye.